Jesus wants to be your friend. The Word of God says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not perish. Now you know how much your enemy wants you to perish and, your, and people around you who don't care about you want to see the worst of you. But Jesus said to His disciples, Greater love had no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. You know, Jesus revealed things to his disciples after the crowd had gone. He said, it is for them to be confused by what I said through parables, but for you it is given for the understanding. Jesus Christ gave his disciples clear understanding as it relates to what is the will of God for their lives. I want you to know that God has a plan for your life and He wants to engage you in this plan. Now listen what Jesus says in the book of John's Gospel chapter 15 and verse 15. Jesus says, Hence, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known as unto you. Why? Because he doesn't want you to be confused, amen, with that which he has for you. God has great things for you, things for you to be able to use for His glory, things that you would be able to bring glory to His name in. That's why Jesus Christ said, I have chosen you. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. Observe, go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. In other words, God wants what he has chosen you to do. He wants his friendship that he has made with you to be one that is fruit bearing, one that will be an asset to the kingdom, one that will be an asset to the Father, one that will be an asset to you. Anytime you give yourself to the will of God, you don't only bless God, you bless yourself. There is the rebound of God's blessings up on your life through the commitment of your service to Jesus Christ. That's why friendship is so important with Him. Don't walk around like if you are a stranger in God. Don't walk around like if you are absent-minded as it relates to God's destiny and will for your life. Amen. Get a hold of what Jesus said. Jesus Christ says, Father, I pray that your spirit will come to them. Jesus said, I pray that as you pray and you say, thy will be done, God's will will be done in your life. God's will will be done through you so that you can partner with God and experience the goodness of God in the land of the living. Why not be a friend of Jesus and let the will of God be perfected in your life? Commit your way to God and He will direct your part. Remember, the will of God says that many are the plans in a man's heart. Yes, but only the purposes of God will be established and you want things that are lasting. Let God's will be done in your life. Make Him your friend.